Yeah. All right, guys, it's Dr. Erig. Let's take a look at this one. And even though I have our little Kelki calculator, really, this is one that we probably can do without it. So consider the function for cell duplication. One of the things to remember is whenever we're talking about exponential functions, we're not talking about adding. We're talking about multiply, 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 multiply. So it's kind of like that penny problem. If I give you a penny today and I double it tomorrow, now you have two cents. And then I double it again, you have four. And then I double it again, you have eight. And I double it again, you have 16. And eventually you have like $100,000 in less than a month. So this is it. It's all double, 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 double. Or triple, triple, triple. It's not adding. So if we have this function, 75 um, times the quantity 2 to the x, what, what do the 75 and 2 to the x mean? Well, we've already talked about it a lot. This 75 is our initial starting value when x is 0. Because anything to the 0 power is 1. 75 times 1 is 75. So right away, we know it can't be C or D because 75 says it's the number of cells at one minute. And it's not. It's always the initial value. So now we're looking at the difference between A and B. A says that the 2 stands for it doubles, like I'm multiplying it by 2 every minute. This says it increases by 2. So I'm giving 2 extra, which is adding. So because it's an exponential function, and I can tell it's an exponential function because x is the exponent, that means I need to multiply, 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 letter A, letter A, letter A.